In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Welcome, friends. This is Victor and Salter with another episode of uh, Sing a New Psalm or Chanting the Psalms. Today, we will be chanting the Psalms of Ascent or the Songs of Ascent. They are the pilgrimage songs, which can be found at numbers 120 until 135. So it's a 15. Uh, 15 psalm set uh, placed uh, somewhere around book 4 in the psalms. The psalms of ascent or the songs of ascent were psalms that Jews would chant or sing on their way up to visit the Temple of Solomon for one of the great feasts. Um, but these are also very powerful song, powerful psalms to sing and chant uh, in, especially during the daytime hours, because they deal a lot with the day-to-day -day struggles of trying to keep to the law of God, trying to follow God in the day-to-day -day struggle. I'm particularly fond of these psalms. So it'll be very fun to sing them here. Uh, the psalm tone that I will be using today is the second in my set of pentatonic psalm tones. And it sounds like this. So the notes are E, D, E, so E, G, E, D, E, A, G, A, G, E, or if you're doing solfege, Mi, Sol, Mi, Re, Mi, La, Sol, La, Sol, Mi. Just a quick aside. Uh, a, a while a while back, I had someone pro a Protestant comment on my channel saying, "I don't understand why you Catholics chant. It sounds kind of demonic to me." He actually called chant demonic, and I understand where he's. I mean, I know he's not from the Catholic tradition. So what I did was I tried to explain it in the in, in a secular sense that people chant things usually to enter into a certain state of mind or to remember things. Uh, for example, when we, when we were kids, we learned to chant the ABC, right? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. Well, it wasn't really a chant, it was a full melody, but the fact is they used, they set the alphabet to Mary, ha uh, to, um, uh, Twinkle Little Star, and by doing that, it made it much easier for us to remember our alphabet, right? And in the military, they do the same thing when they're doing, um, when they're when they're running, they chant different slogans, like, um, "Who's the fastest in the world? Who's the fastest in the world? Billy is, and he's a girl. Billy is, and he's a girl," right? And it's usually done in a pentatonic mode, oddly enough. See, that's a minor third. So those... Yeah. So you often hear those chants done in pentatonic scales because it's so easy to remember the notes and it makes it easier to remember what you're singing. So that's what we're doing here with these pentatonic psalm tones where we're doing a very simple form of chant. Um, 
And I would even dare to say it's a very non-metrical form of chant because I'm not really concerned with where you accent the melody as long as the melody is sung somewhere in the, uh, along with the text. Uh, for example, taken, I'll be using the RSV Bible and the first two verses that we, we will sing today are In my distress I cry to the Lord that he may answer me. Then verse 2 Deliver me, O Lord, from lying lips from a deceitful tongue. So chanting that, I would say, um, In my distress I cry to the Lord that he may answer me. But what happens if I do this? In my distress I cry to the Lord that he may answer me. You see, there was a slight change there because I began changing, I began going to the next note or the transition note in earlier in the in the in the verse so it's not really that big of a deal in this myth in this system um, because like i said this is a these are new compositions and they don't necessarily follow the same point pointing uh, that you would have in a traditional gregorian chant although i'm using the modes uh, and the tonality of the uh, gregorian tradition so without further ado let's get started we'll go to uh, uh i will say the the number of the psalm and i'm using the revised standard version of the psalter um it's a beautiful translation a uh, very literal uh and it really captures the hebrew quality the jewish quality of the psalms so let's keep going and at the after we after, after I chant through these psalms, there will be a short reflection uh, or collatio on what stood out to me during this prayer and some reflections on how the psalms can enrich our spiritual lives. Some spiritual reflections and maybe a, a brief lesson on how we can chant the psalms with your children. One of the beauties of the Pentatonic Scale is that you can chant maybe a verse or two with your children to get, get them singing the psalms. And it's also a great way for us to keep the psalms in our minds throughout the day. All right, I think I've blabbered on for long enough. Let's get busy. So I'm going to chant monophonically with my guitar, and I might every now and then do it with chords or a cappella, depending on where the Spirit leads me. Come Holy Spirit. Psalm 120. In my distress, I cry to the Lord that he may answer me. Deliver me, O Lord, from lying lips and from the deceitful tongue. What shall be given to you? And what more shall be done to you, O you deceitful tongue? A warrior's sharp arrows with glowing coals of the broom tree. Woe is me that I sojourn in Nesek, that I dwell among the tents of Kedar. Too long have I had my dwelling among those who hate peace. I am for peace, but when I speak, they are for war. So there I stopped on the first half of the melody, as you can see here. So the next psalm is 121. I lift up my eyes to the hills from whence does come my, does my help come? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. Behold, he who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade on your right hand. The sun shall not smite you by day, nor the moon by night. 
the Lord will keep you from all evil. He will keep your life. The Lord will keep your going out and your coming in from this time forth and forevermore. Psalm 122. I was glad when they said to me, let us go to the house of the Lord. Our feet have been standing within your gates, O Jerusalem. Jerusalem is built as a city which is bound firmly together, to which the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord, as was decreed for Israel, to give thanks to the name of the Lord. There the thrones where judgment were set, the thrones of the house of the Lord, David. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. May they prosper who love you. Peace be within your walls and security within your towers. For my brethren and companions' sake, I will say, Peace be within you. For the sake of the house of the Lord our God, I will seek your good. I had to go downstairs to get my glasses. Continuing on with Psalm 123. To thee I lift up my eyes, O thou who art enthroned in the heavens. Behold, as the eyes of the servants look to the hand of their masters, as the eyes of a maid on the hand of her mistress, so our eyes look to the Lord our God, till he have mercy on us. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy upon us, for we have had more than enough of contempt. Too long our soul has been sated with the scorn of those who are at ease, the contempt of the proud. Psalm 124. If it had not been the Lord who was on our side, let Israel now say. If it had not been the Lord who was on our side, when men rose up against us, then they would have swallowed us up alive when their anger was kindled against us. Then the flood would have swept us away, the torrent would have gone over us. Then over us would have gone the raging waters. Blessed be the Lord who has not given us, as prey to their teeth. We have escaped as a bird from the snare of the fowler. The snare is broken and we have escaped. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Psalm 125. Those who trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion, which cannot be moved, but abides forever. As the mountains are round about Jerusalem, so the Lord is round about his people. From this time forth and forevermore, for the scepter of wickedness shall never rest upon the land allotted to the righteous, lest the righteous put forth their hands to do wrong. Do good, O Lord, to those who are good and to those who are upright in their hearts. For those who turn aside from their crooked ways, the Lord will lead away with evildoers. Peace be upon Israel. Psalm 126. 
Psalm 126. When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, we were like those who dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter, on our tongue with shouts of joy. Then they said among the nations, the Lord has done good things for them. The Lord has done great things for us. We are glad. Restore our fortunes, O Lord, like the water courses of the Negev. May those who sow in tears reap with shouts of joy. He that goes forth weeping, bearing the seed for sowing, shall come home with shouts of joy, bringing his sheaves with him. So as you can see there, I use chordal accompaniment, and I played around with the harmony by, by using what I know about chords. The melody still harmonized because I was, the chords contained the, mel the notes from the melody. Going on with Psalm 127. Unless the Lord builds the house, those who build it labor in vain. Unless the Lord watches over the city, the watchman stays awake in vain. It is in vain that you rise up early and go late to rest, eating the bread of anxious toil, for he gives to his beloved sleep. Lo, sons are a heritage from the Lord, the fruit of the womb a reward. Like arrows in the hand of a warrior are the sons of one's youth. Happy is the man who has his quiver full of them. He shall not be put to shame when he speaks with his enemies in the gate. Psalm 128 Blessed is the one who fears the Lord, who walks in his way. You shall eat the fruit of the labor of your hands. You shall be happy, and it shall be well with you. Your wife will be like a fruitful vine within your house. Your children will be like the olive shoots around your table. Lo, thus shall the man be blessed who fears the Lord. The Lord bless you from Zion. May you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. May you see your children's children. Peace be upon Israel. Going on to Psalm 129. Sorely have they afflicted me from my youth. Let Israel now say, Sorely have they afflicted me from my youth, yet they have not prevailed against me. The plowers plowed upon my back, and they made long their furrows. The Lord is righteous, he has cut the cords of the wicked. May all who hate Zion be put to shame and turn backward. Let them be like the grass on the housetops, which withers before it grows up. With which the reaper does not fill his hand or the binder his bosom. While those who pass by do not say, The blessing of the Lord be upon you. We bless you in the name of the Lord. Psalm 130. 
Out of the depths I cry to thee, O Lord, O Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to the voice of my supplications. If thou, O Lord, shouldst mark iniquities, Lord, who could stand? But there is forgiveness with thee, that thou mayest be feared. I wait for the Lord, my soul waits, in his word I hope. My soul waits for the Lord more than watchmen and the more for the morning, more than watchmen for the morning. O Israel, hope in the Lord, for with the Lord there is steadfast love, and with him plenteous redemption. And he will redeem Israel from all his iniquities. Psalm 131 O Lord, my heart is not lifted up, my eyes are not raised too high. I do not occupy myself with things too great and too marvelous for me. For I have calmed and quieted my soul, like a child quieted at its mother's breast, like a child that is quieted is my soul. O Israel, hope in the Lord, from this time forth and forevermore. Psalm 132. Remember, O Lord, in David's favor all the hardships he endured, and how he swore to the Lord and vowed to the Mighty One of Jacob. I will not enter my house or get sleep into my get into my bed. I will not give sleep to my eyes or slumber to my eyelids until I find a place for the Lord a dwelling place for the mighty one of Jacob. Lo, we heard of it in Ephrathah, we found it in the fields of Jair. Let us go to his dwelling place, let us worship at his footstool. Arise, O Lord, and go to thy resting place, thou and the ark of thy might. Let thy priest be clothed with righteousness, let thy saints shout for joy. For thy servant David's sake, do not turn away from the face of thy anointed one. The Lord swore to David a sure oath from which he will not turn back. One of the sons of your body I will set upon your throne. If your son keeps my covenant and my testimonies which I shall teach them, their sons also forever shall sit upon your throne. For the Lord has chosen Zion, he has desired it for his habitation. This is my resting place forever, here I will dwell, for I have desired it. I will abundantly bless her provisions, I will satisfy her poor with bread. Her priests I will clothe with salvation, and her saints will shout for joy. There I will make a horn to sprout for David. I have prepared a lamp for my anointed. His enemies I will clothe with shame, but upon himself his crown will shed its luster. Behold how good and pleasant... Psalm 133 Behold how good and pleasant it is when brothers dwell in unity. It is like the precious oil upon the head running down upon the beard, upon the beard of Aaron, running down on the collar of his robes. It is like the dew of Hermon, which falls on the mounts of Zion. For there the Lord has commanded the blessing, life forevermore. Psalm 134 Come, bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, who stand by night in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands to the holy place and bless the Lord. May the Lord bless you from Zion, he who made heaven and earth. And Psalm 135, 135. 
Praise the Lord, praise the name of the Lord. Give praise, O servants of the Lord. You that stand in the house of the Lord, in the courts of the house of our God. Praise the Lord, for the Lord is good. Sing praise to his name, for he is gracious. For the Lord has chosen Jacob for himself, Israel as his own possession. For I know that the Lord is great, that our Lord is above all gods. Whatever the Lord pleases, he does in heaven and on earth, in the sea and all deeps. He it is who made the clouds rise at the end of the earth, who makes lightnings for the rain, and brings forth a wind from his storehouse. He it was who smote the firstborn of Egypt, of both of man and of beast. Who in the midst of Egypt sent signs and wonders against Pharaoh and all his servants. Who smote many nations and slew mighty kings. Zion, king of the Amorites, and on king of Bashan. And all the kingdoms of Canaan and gave their land as a heritage, a heritage to his people Israel. The name, O Lord, thy name, O Lord, endures forever. Thy renown, O Lord, throughout all ages. For the Lord will vindicate his people and have companion, compassion on his servants. The idols of the nations are silver and gold, the work of men's hands. They have mouths, but they speak not. They have eyes, but they see not. They have ears, but they hear not. Nor is there any breath in their mouths. Like them be those who make them. Yea, everyone who trusts in them. O house of Israel, bless the Lord. House of Aaron, bless the Lord. O house of Levi, bless the Lord. You that fear the Lord, bless the Lord. Blessed be the from the Lord from Zion, he who dwells in Jerusalem. Praise the Lord. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be. All right, well, those were the songs of Ascent. Hope you enjoyed them. And as you can see, I, alt I alternated quite a bit between monophony, a cappella singing, and chordal accompaniment. So whichever way you choose to do it, it's up to you. And I've recently posted a video of all the uh, pentatonic songs. Excuse me. It's pretty late, and I haven't gotten much sleep lately. So um, I posted a video. A video of all the pentatonic psalm tones in case you ever want to use them um, and so one of the benefits of praying the songs of ascent is that we see this steady progression from uh, anger and disarray to the glory of the temple it's as if they finally made it up to the peak of that temple and it makes me think of the prophecy of Isaiah how the Lord's mountain will be where all the nations of the world will one day stream to meet God. And it's just such a powerful, emotionally charged uh, set of psalms. So, <laughs> sorry about that. So I hope you enjoyed this episode and we will hopefully uh, have some more videos for you as soon as possible. Keep praying the psalms. Please pray for me and my family. Uh, that would be much appreciated. Glory be to Jesus Christ.